Hey folks, in this video, we're gonna be reviewing and unboxing the Field World T7 camera monitor. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I finally made a purchase of something that I've been wanting to get for quite a while and that was the black magic pocket cinema camera 4k and yes i know there is a 6k but this is my first um foray or jump into cameras beyond um camcorders where you actually have exposure and all this other focal length and lenses and all this other stuff that i'm still learning so going into that um I mean, I'm using the camera right now as my main camera, but this is, I've been rigging this whole camera out to actually do what the purpose of this camera is gonna be for. And this is more high quality type of um, videography, cinematography, um, where I'm making higher quality videos for my clients, as well as just, this is what I need to push me to learn new things. So. As a lot of people, when you start researching this, this camera is not like something that you would buy like a camcorder, like the Sony camcorder that I normally would have. This is something that it comes with a body. You need a lens. There are so many different lenses that you can come with. Oh, if you're doing a micro four thirds lens and you want to go to something else, you need a speed booster and you need certain um, media to connect to it so it's fast enough to go to that and i talked about where i had a originally purchased a samsung um, t7 ssd but found out that that was not compatible then i had to go to the <laughs> t5 which was a older one which has since been discontinued but thankfully my local store has gotten one anyway a long story short is a lot of things go into this camera to make it exactly your own and usable for what you need it for so i have a handle on it so that i can do low shots ground shots um videos of kids animals and things like that but even though it has such a beautiful screen on the back that doesn't articulate. You literally have to have it right in front of your face. And a lot of people looking on YouTube, they recommend it to have a, a kind of field monitor to go on top of that. So this is where this one comes in. And I'm being mindful of my budget. And this one is actually was right at $145. So did some work and it fit into the budget. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and let's see what's inside. All right, so here it is, the Field World T7. Actually, it's seven inches, does a resolution of 1920 by 1200, but it says it's 4K, it can accept 4K in, and it has 4K out, which I think is interesting if it's 1920 by, well, well anyway, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside. And I paid for this obviously with my own money based off of what I just said, it fits in my budget. So, you know, that's how it goes. So it looks like this is kind of like a hood or a shade or a visor or whatever that you call it so that you can actually see what's going on when you're in bright light or outside and all this other stuff. Okay, and it looks like it has some Velcro around the edges here so it'll stick. Let's see what else goes on with this. All right, we got our package includes, oh, it actually includes the HDMI cable. Yay, because I thought I was gonna have to buy another one. Um, I had a thin one, but I think I left that at my church when I was testing out the wireless HDMI, um, but I can always get that one back. All right, so it comes with the monitor, obviously, HDMI cable, sunshade, a hot shoe mount, okay, battery plate, and manual. All right, there's the manual. And 
here is the actual unit, but I will save that for last. All right, we've got an HDMI cable, and this is a nice cable, but I think I'm gonna go with mine. I have a um, mono price thin HDMI cable and a short, so I'm gonna use that instead of this because I'm trying to keep all my cables and stuff like that short and manageable. All right, and we got a little frame of some type, and there's the Velcro that's around here where I guess the sunshade snaps onto, and that's it. And we got this, which is kind of funny. I wish I had known because I had just bought a, um, with this, I also bought a small rig because that's the cage that came with my camera that I, yeah, that came with my camera. Um, I actually bought a shoe that's going to go on my um, cage for my camera. So this is what I'm going to be using for here. And this should allow me to do some more movement in here. And it's a lot stronger because something like that I've actually had before for my um, Rode video mic and it was all over the place. So this is what we're going to use. All right, let's clean up my space here. All right, so here's the main unit. And just realize we've got no batteries with this. So that stinks. So I'm gonna have to get something else with here. So like I said, I'm <laughs> not hiding that I am new to all of this. I have really thought that this actually came with something, but oh well, let's go ahead and pull this off here. All right, so we have a mount here, thread in the bottom, USB um, for an upgrade, HDMI in and out, DC 12 volt power headphones, we got menu buttons and function buttons here on the top and that's it and this it says SF 970 batteries I'm gonna try some batteries that I got to see if they work or maybe we should just look at the manual and see exactly what type of batteries go with it all right so I have this battery that went with my um, what is it um, newer light and it fits, don't know if it'll actually work with it, but it wasn't difficult to snap together. And obviously it does work because we're getting power. So yay, we actually have a battery that will work. Now, looks like there, uh oh, I was going to say there's no off button, but there's our power right there. So that's cool. Um, but I will have to invest. I'm gonna look in getting um, an external power supply for this. But no, nah, this is really gonna be meant for when I'm outside doing a lot of the things that I'm doing. All right, so let's go ahead and attach this shoe here. It has a rubber grip here, a lot nicer than the one that came with this. And I can tighten this down way tighter then I feel this other one. And then this is gonna be placed on top of my camera. So, and it has a shoe on the top so I can bolt it on so I can see what's going on. So let's go ahead and hook this up and then I will cut over to another camera so you can see how I have it set up. Oh, well actually, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and show in the manual, this actually shows we clip this on this way and then you would put the shade on like so and there we go really nice also have another um, thread in here so we can screw something else on here if we needed to I don't think I'm gonna be using this but obviously I think the um, shade I probably will and honestly with all the stuff that's going on now with this I need to invest in another bag uh, another camera bag or maybe a pelican case or something like that so anyway let me go ahead and find the hdmi cable i'm gonna hook it up to this and then we're gonna see what this looks like and i also forgot to mention this is um full size hdmis and this cable actually came with hdmi to um mini hdmi which isn't going to work for this so i'm gonna have to get another cable anyway so that this will plug in but Nice to have another one of these cables. 
and use that for my DSLR. So now we definitely need to find another HDMI cable. All right, so we got everything hooked up here and we're using the pass through to feed the cable from the camera directly into the into the uh, monitor and then the monitor pass through is being sent to the ATEM. So if we pull up my camera here, yeah, excuse the cable. I am not using that super long cable. Um, I used a couple of couplers and then the signal was being bad. So that's why I just used this cable. I'm gonna get one of these stretchy HDMIs um, so it won't be all up out of the way. So it'll recoil when need be. But this is how my setup is. You see the pictures very well. I have this coming through the ATEM over USB that's coming to this computer right now. So you can see, and it's working fine. And then we're capturing here over the HDMI out coming out of the ATEM Mini Pro. So looking fine. There's not a lot of lag inside of here. So, I mean, sync test is going fine so far. Um, kind of happy with this. Uh, I might have to do something with the battery, uh, but this is a part of the process of um, me learning this whole stuff. So I'm not some super professional videographer and stuff like this. I'm learning <laughs> this at the same time. So this is my honest impressions and reactions to stuff that I didn't think all the way through because I didn't know the questions to ask. So this is, I'm <laughs> learning the hard way, but it's learning nonetheless. Um, there are some menus to go through here so you can show the histogram. There's some um, function buttons that you can program and set to different things, false color. You can zoom in, do some other things like that. And let's see, I don't know if these functions are gonna show up on the menu when they come through and no they don't so let's go ahead and break out the phone here so inside of our menu here we have uh, we got picture standard you can change the color here and we got some buttons here to move through the list so these are the function buttons that you can program which are right there at the top, F1 and F2. So right now it's set the false color and the histogram. And let's see, we also have, we can set markers, grids, um, we can flip the on-screen display, we can flip the image, we can freeze the image. Um, what else can we do? Anamorphic on and off. So we can play around with those settings if need be. Now it's magnified user settings. We got that off now. Um, check field histogram, false colors, um, overexposure. So a lot of these functions that are built into the Blackmagic Cinema camera but I guess, you know, this does not have, it's not touch screen, it's not anything like that, like some of the other ones, or it doesn't have Bluetooth, so it can't directly communicate with the camera. But I guess that's good that you can get this same functionality um, without having to go through the screen. Because again, for me, this is meant just so I can see the screen myself because I'm, you know, when the screen is facing backwards, like when I'm using this right now for um, shooting YouTube videos, I can't see what's going on. And that's the reason why I have OBS set up here over USB. So that is my other screen. All right. And that's the only thing that's in this menu. Then we got language, aspect ratio, um, signal, blue screen, do we want to show that? You can change the on-screen display, backlight percentage, power on, auto, um, upgrade if we need to upgrade that. And then we have our picture color quality. Let's see, that's standard, mild, user, 
dynamic standard I guess is fine for me right now you can change the color temperature and the tint and that's mainly it all right so there's our histogram there's a false color so that's cool and like I said this is this whole thing is kind of new to me now to be quite honest I, this is weird because my camera's right here, I have the screen here, and I'm looking up. So if I look at the screen, I'm not looking at the lens. So I'm wondering if I'm going to set up another way that I can set this camera that's closer to the lens so when I'm looking, I can actually see what's going on without looking all the way up or something like that. And I guess that's the reason why they have these on the side and things like that. So maybe I might even, I have another shoe that I can put here on the side. Maybe I can put it there and play around with it. I don't know. This is something, and I've seen the, you know, the articulating arms, maybe something like that. So I don't know. This is, and that's probably maybe a bunch of gadgets that you need to start adding. So <laughs> that when you start doing stuff like this, you don't look silly while you have this stuff going on like what I have here. So for about $150, $140, 150 I think this is good because mainly I just needed a screen to see what's going on. And now obviously it's clean um, HDMI out, but I do have the monitor, um, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera set to show clean because if it's going all the way through, I'm not going to be able to get um, I would have all this information on the camera. So in the field, I guess I can have all that stuff turned on so I can see it on the monitor right there. But when I'm recording on the camera, I'm not going to see any of that information. So, hey, learning some new stuff. Now, there were some other screens and other um, field monitors that people were highly recommending like I know one that actually has the Bluetooth commands built into it so that you can actually control the camera and have some more functionality that was going for the screen by itself was 500 and then you needed the adapter which was another 150 so as of right now I'd rather spend that amount in getting a new lens instead of that but hey this is <laughs> me sharing with y'all the journey of me trying to figure all this stuff out and learning something new at the same time. And this was, I think, a good investment for um, the money so that I can actually see something, so I can actually now start using this camera instead of having it right in front of my face when I'm trying to um, shoot with it. So, and I know this rig is probably gonna grow and change depending on the type of job that I'm doing. Um, but for right now, especially when I'm doing YouTube videos, I'm probably gonna mount this monitor like on another tripod and put it right beside the lens um, or lower it some more. So when I'm looking at the lens, I'm not looking up like this. So it makes it look like I'm off. But anyway, I hope and make sure I'm still recording here. Um, I hope y'all like this honest review of this. And um, I sit back and think now because of this, normally if I had known this at my church, we have camcorders or we have Canon Vixia G20s and we did a whole bunch of rigging so that we have it, the HDMI out goes into a splitter, the splitter goes to our video switcher then the other one goes to a regular commuter monitor so whoever's operating the camera can see what's going on this makes a lot more sense in that type of situation um so a smaller doesn't take us up as much space and quite honestly based off how much we pay for the monitors they were about like a hundred and ten dollars so another thirty dollars forty dollars we can have this and i think that would work as well too um I just need to see how long the battery lasts. So like right now, I'm at an 80% charge and hasn't really done anything. So I'll play around and see how long it lasts. But this again was the Field World T7 camera field monitor. And I am using it with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera 4K. Um, and we'll, <laughs> this is the growing of this pocket cinema camera, um, getting it to where I'm learning more and building this out to actually use this camera for my business and more things to come. So 
Um, there'll be a link in the description for anybody who's interested in this. It is an affiliate link, so we get a little kickback that helps grow this channel and you get a product and there's no extra on your side. So it's a win-win on both sides. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And I want to thank the patrons who made this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now. And you can become a patron too for as little as $1 a month where you help us get different equipment and software to help train media ministries all over the world. And again, in all honesty, letting y'all know and in transparency, that was the word I really meant, this was bought with my own money. This was not used with anything that is from the patrons. So just being honest with y'all so you know that I'm just use, not using that money just to just <laughs> pimp out all my stuff. That is meant to buy whatever that the community wants me to so that we can review to help your media ministry or any other media ministry all over the world. So anyway, Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video later.